about a project near and dear to his heart. They call it the Nicholas Nine, but for Jack Nicholas, who designed the back nine at American Lake Veterans Golf Course in Lakewood, it's a labor of love. With all the wars we've had lately, with all the things going on, uh, there's going to be a lot more of these situations around the country. So we're hoping that we can do, do more of these around the country where we can help the guys uh, transition back into life. The course is specially designed to help wounded and disabled veterans, heroes who have served our country, now looking for healing on the golf course. My friend Kenny Still, who is involved here, Kenny is a member of the Ryder Cup team in 1969 when, uh, when we played together and we played a lot on the tour. He called and said, Jack, we, we need some help out here at American Lakes. He said, he said they got too much play on a nine hole golf course and we need another nine. And can you help? He says, sure, I'll help. Why not? We met a lot of the guys. Uh, met guys who have lost their legs, guys who have lost their arms, guys who were uh, mentally uh, challenged. Uh, and I think the, you know, there's a whole bunch of things that happened to them. And, and golf has been a wonderful rehabilitation for them. What are the challenges in designing a course like this for disabled vets? The other nine holes is here is a very simple golf course, so we basically matched it up to the other nine holes. So we didn't try to do anything fancy. We just tried to do a nice, solid, uh, simple golf course that people could enjoy and have fun. Play. But even the great Golden Bear himself admits it's more than that. It's been unbelievable to see something. One of the fellows came up and says, he said, Jack, he said, I tried to commit suicide three times unsuccessfully, th thank goodness, because I found golf and I found it here at your golf course. And he says, I'm fine now. He says, I'm enjoying life. I mean, one person, that's what makes it all worthwhile. We need things like that. We need these for our guys. And uh, it's just been something that uh, you know, I've been out here, I guess, four times now. And, uh, and your, your weather's pretty nice. You're, you're being, being an Ohio girl. You understand what I'm talking about. We keep this a secret, our nice weather out here. Yeah, I understand that. Chambers Bay, what do you think of the course? Chambers Bay is, I, I flew over it coming in yesterday, and uh, it's a, it looked like it was a pretty open. There's only one tree on the property. Uh, had quite a bit of elevation change. Uh, talking to a few of the fellows last night, they said that, you know, it's uh, hard and fast, which is actually what a sort of a seaside links type golf course wants to be. And that's, that was an old gravel pit, so that's, and that was the sand was what was left over. So uh, we'll see. I, you, you don't know until somebody actually plays it. Do you have anybody in particular that you're keeping an eye on? I keep an eye on all of them, Barney, but I, I like a lot of the young kids that are playing today. I think, I think Jordan's obviously a, a very uh, talented young man. Roy McElroy's a talented young man. Uh, Ricky Fowler's talented. You'll have a lot of the guys that will play well here. Uh, there'll be some guys who'll struggle. We got a lot of kids around here who want to take up the game of golf. It's a sport that's obviously close to your heart, takes a lot of time, can take a lot of money. How do you open up golf and make it available uh, to people who want to play it and, and give them that opportunity? That's been the $64 question for a long time, ever since I was a kid. Uh, we always said, how do you open up the golf courses, kid? And you know, it's, it's difficult. There's only so much space on a golf course. Uh, and golf courses are expensive. There's a lot of facilities that are open. You just got open space for the kids. And I think most places are. Uh, the, the, the hard part of it is getting the kids to want to play golf. To take the patience to go learn a game that is a very difficult game to learn. It's a tough sport. Uh, but once they learn and get into it, they get hooked. And then you keep a golfer for life. Keep a golfer for life. They officially opened the back nine, the Nicholas nine at American Lake today, but they still are raising money to pay for it and they need some help from Mother Nature. It's really dry out there. They need the grass to grow for it to be ready to play. If you would like to learn more about the course or if you're a veteran and you want to get out there and play, they want to see you. Just go to veterangolf.org. Or, uh, it was really cool to meet him. I've been a fan for years, mm -hmm. and he mentioned Ohio Girl. I grew up in the Midwest, so I grew up going to the Memorial Tournament. But really cool that he is so passionate about these veterans and knows that just giving them a golf club and putting them out there in the course can really help in that healing process. But he wasn't here for just that. He's here also to honor his wife. He's here to honor his wife. She got the Bob Jones Award tonight from the USGA, highest award in golf. So she was at Chambers Bay, and he said, I'm really here for Barbara, but he's this his fourth time to be here to visit this course oh, to help in the design. So oh, uh, just cool all around. So congratulations to Barbara because she was the sweetest thing. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah.